Hi everyone, my name is Juno. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. In this video, we're going to be talking about the concept of emotional and spiritual intimacy in romantic relationships. If we listen to most popular cultures, so if you look at uh, love songs, or romantic comedies, uh, read romance novels and so forth, is that there is this assumption that everyone wants a close, intimate, long-term relationship, romantic relationship. But I would argue otherwise. If you look at uh, the personality test, because I've created uh, a personality test, it's called the Truth and Empathy Personality Test, and there are 16 types. And they are uh, very much uh, similar to MBTI, but I, what I did is that I uh, really simplify the test so to, to get more accurate uh, results. And you realize that out of 16 types, uh, there are only four types who really want this close uh, emotional, spiritual connection with their mates. And they're able to maintain it long. So they want it, uh, need it, and they work daily to actually accomplish that. So, and, and those 16 types can be uh, subdivided into four main groups. So you have first the feminine orderly type. So that's the type who truly are looking for that soulmate. Uh, when you think about it in terms of uh, communicating on a daily basis, really knowing this person well, um, they, they love um, uh, be able to, you know, express, you know, their their appreciation for appreciation for this person on a daily basis. Um, they are naturally uh, faithful, so you don't have to worry about this person sleeping with <laughs> other individuals. Uh, they tend to also be good with, uh, you know, uh, financial stability. So they um, and, and they are organized. This is a type of group where, you know, if you're in a relationship with the feminine orderly type. Uh, it's quite easy to be in a relationship with them because they naturally do all this. They don't have to be told, uh, you know, you need to call this person, you, you need to pay attention. So these are people who um, really uh, give a lot of attention to their uh, partner and everyone actually that is uh, uh, closer to their inner circle, they tend to give a lot of attention, but particularly to their romantic partner. So the partner rarely feels uh, irrelevant or not important because they really pour in a lot of time and energy. And how much time and energy that we're talking about? I mean, the feminine orderly type literally will, will um, uh, let's say, uh, email the person or talk to this person, see them face to face easily uh, anywhere from like 10 to 20 hours per week. And it's a part time job for them to be in a show. And they love it. It's not like it's a chore because they love, uh, you know, giving all this time, energy, um, and they'll spend money all that on their ship because it's very important and they really feel fulfilled by feeling this closeness with their romantic partner. And for most people, when they hear that, it's like, oh my, this, this is like unbelievable. And they can maintain that throughout the whole relation. So there's not like a, a honeymoon phase and then it dies down and then back to regular where, you know, I, I ignore your calls or, or I don't pay attention to you. That's not the way they work. So out of those 16 types, there are four types in there. These are the feminine orderly type who behave that way. Then you have the second group of people who are the feminine spontaneous type. So they are, uh, you know, attentive and, and they, they are compassionate and things restored, but they don't invest as much time as the feminine orderly, uh, you know, group. So, um, so these people are less likely to maintain this sort of uh, uh, that flame, that passion. You know, it might be like that in the beginning, but it sort of like trails off. They they need their space. They don't need to uh, to have that constant communication and closeness. So already it's sort of drifting off. <laughs> then you have the other group who are the spontaneous masculine type. And these are people who will probably, well, you know, the like the typical one would be like uh, the entrepreneurs, you know. So they spend more time probably on their business. They might every once in a while, you know, pop into your life, maybe every couple of weeks to say, hi, how are you? Let's do an activity. But mask energy is not interested in this closed 
uh, really sort of like we merge together type of uh, relationship. So if let's say this type is trying to mate with a spontaneous feminine or worse, uh, <laughs> the organized feminine type, it's 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 not going to work. And you don't want to impose um, your need for uh, emotion, special intimacy to someone that you know simply doesn't need it or want it. And the other uh, extreme is the orderly masculine. Well, this type uh, is the least empathic and the one who they don't even understand their own emotions, their own euros. So although they are reliable, you can easily reach them and so forth, but uh, they are really struggling with um, the, the whole landscape of uh, emotional and spiritual world. Like They don't understand because they're so left brain dominant. Like Their brains are not wired for that. They're wired to do something like, you know, math and science, and, and they are very much about organizing their environment. Uh, when you put them in a romantic relationship, they just miss the point most of the time. So I think it's important to recognize that. So out of the 16 types, only four are really wired for that uh, passionate, close relationship. And it's something that re is really discussed by either... Um, dating coaches or therapists, psychologists, they think, you know, they put everyone in the same boat, everyone want, wants this type of uh, Romeo and Juliet, uh, you know, you're the love of my life for the rest of my life <laughs> type of relationship. And it's not true. Uh, and I think that if people uh, run into problems when they uh, try to have this model uh, and, and, you know, and, and sort of emulate that within their own lives, your life, it, it doesn't work. So this is something I think it, that needs to be addressed. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk soon. Take care.